Hello, my dear. This today will be reading on topic how do men view. So, uh, for all of uh, you guys who are interested in how do masculine energies or men uh, view you, what their perception of you, this is the right reading for you. For I will be reading the traditional and intuitive meanings of the cards. So, stay with me if you want to find out. But let's see. How do men view you? First pile. How do men view you? Tell me, spirit. For the first pile, how do men view you? Okay. Okay, for many of you, uh, I am getting this sense that men, perhaps some of them, may have this a mm, little bit of an impression that you guys may be uh, a high maintenance type of a partner, where uh, being with you guys is not an easy job. You know, you do have your standards, you do have your principles, and the right man or woman. Uh, to get with you guys uh, should be really up to your imagined picture of what you guys want for your life. I feel like they feel uh, like if a potential partner doesn't fit in a, in the type of a picture that you guys imagined for your life, you won't even uh, dwell overly on the connection and what uh, they can provide for you. So that's something significant here. Uh, also, I am getting for many of you, they may be seeing you as currently being somebody uh, on some type of apprenticeship or something of that nature where you guys may be devoting a lot of energy toward your job, you know, so uh, that's something interesting and amazing. Uh, for many of you, I'm also uh, sensing that you guys may have some strong relationship with animals, you know, uh, perhaps you may have uh, a well-known uh, animal, animal uh, spirit, spirit animal uh, or something of that nature where you guys may be connecting with their energies a lot and this is like uh, widely uh, renowned or this person may know this about you guys so that's something interesting about this pile. Um, I am getting, uh, for many of you, if you like wearing ponytails or uh, your hair put up high, this person uh, sees this as something very much attractive and endearing when it comes to your physical beauty, when it comes, when it comes to how you guys present yourselves to the world, so that's something amazing. For those of you who are into some type of martial arts, I feel like this person... Uh, admires that very much. I am hearing Jiu Jitsu uh, and Karate here, um, but uh, take this as it resonates because it will not be the same for all of you guys, you know. Uh, so uh, I do feel like that uh, men, when it comes to this pile, uh, view you as a person, as somebody who is very much accomplished, somebody who achieved many of their ambitions and their uh, goals in your lifetime, you know, and now uh, listen to that song of Katy Perry, Champagne Problems, you know. Uh, so you may be the type of a person that only has uh, champagne problems uh, as of now because I feel like you already survived your good deal of hardships and uh, difficulties in your lifetime. And I do have this strong idea and uh, I'm getting this message from Spirit to tell you guys that uh, I feel like many of th those difficulties like worst part is over. So uh, you can be rest assured that now what is coming is much better than whatever you guys experienced before because I am sensing some type of ending, some type of imbalanced uh, relationships where you guys felt perhaps that your partners weren't as giving in any type of sense uh, as you are. So uh, you can also be, uh, you know, just secure that there is some type of a new relationship on the horizon for you guys that will be very 
you know, passionate steam, a little bit more on the earthly level, um, enticing, let's say it uh, that way. But yes, this this was a little bit of side message here, you know. Uh, what I what else can I see from here? Men do view you as some type of a person that um, doesn't shy away from conflict, you know. Uh, you will. Uh, Pick your deal of drama, see if this is what's necessary to establish your point. So that's something amazing, you know. Uh, I'm getting for many of you, if you uh, like wearing some type of occult accessories, you know, uh, this person sees this as a very sexual or sexually attractive thing of you. So if you like wearing like astrological signs or pentagrams or anything of that nature I feel like this person digs it very much you know uh, we do have here some amazing quality when it comes to I feel like your entire face is very um, memorable and uh, distinguished you know among messy so you may uh, have a very uh, striking face but uh, among all the features of yours, it's eyes that's most uh, coming uh, to the light when it comes to what men especially see and admire when it comes to you guys, so um, that is something amazing. I am also getting something about feet, so for those of you who have, uh, I feel like many of you may have tiny or modelesque or very beautiful feet, I, I feel like uh, for many of you people have already said something to you along the lines you could be a model for feet and uh, things of that nature so uh, I am sensing from this pile also that men do, men do see some type of a purity in you guys so there is this little bit of mischievous, uh, playful you know, uh, catch me if you can side for you guys but there is also this great purity uh, when it comes to you perhaps uh, you may be the type to uh, you know, just watch your sexual relations or not really promiscuous type of a person. At least this is what this is the impression of the men around you. So um, that's something perhaps that they dig, that they find, uh, you know, even interesting in this contemporary world where everybody is sleeping with everyone, you know, uh, there are hooks, hook hookups uh, on all sides and that's something amazing. Um, but let's see what else we have here. Mm. I feel like there's something about the way you walk. I feel like you guys may look like you are floating or uh, you may have this very elegant type of walk. Perhaps you were dancing from a small age or uh, I feel like you did some type of physical uh, Activity that added the uh, especially elegant note uh, to your walking, so that's something amazing. Uh, yes, but I believe that was our first pile. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, like and subscribe. And let's go on a little bit further. What do men like about you? What do men like about you? Pile two. What do men like about you? How do they see you? actually how men see you how do men see you oh we do have some very strong but at the same time elegant feminine energy hmm. well what I can say uh, right off the bat men think that you guys may be a multifaceted type of a person you know uh, they do see this strict no bullshit side to you uh, where you guys will cut off anyone that's not uh, up to your demands, you know, and that's something really respectful about you. I feel like that's the type of energy that not a lot of feminine have, you know, uh, so that's amazing. But I feel like they do feel that you do have this perfect balance between your emotional nurturing side and that uh, strong intellectual 
uh, have been through too many dramas in this lifetime side of yours and uh, I feel like this balance is an in interesting juxtaposition to your character you know uh, because you know we as humans we are usually um, one dimensional it's a rare thing that one person can demonstrate and embody a lot of traits and uh, be you know have just these many sides to them you know because I am seeing here as well some great strength as well as physical one uh, and also a mental one I feel like perhaps uh, they think that you may be somebody who goes often to the gym or you exercise or you have yoga you do have some type of an activity that uh, supports your body and that makes you look healthier so that's something amazing uh, and Let's see what else we have. I feel like they may, mm, let's just say it like that, sense this little bit of a jealous possessive side to you guys. So I feel like when you are in a relationship, when you are with your man, with your woman, with your person of interest, uh, you may be the very territorial type and a uh, little bit more on the traditional side when it comes to dating and you will establish your boundaries, you will... Uh, you know, just be a little bit um, decisive toward the world in that sense that you guys may uh, be in this attitude. What's mine is mine. Don't even look that this way. And uh, this is something really amazing that people acknowledge and notice when it comes to you guys. I feel like they may notice that you may not be the type to rush actually into any type of an endeavor as well as it also uh, is uh, can be applied for relationships. I feel like men think that if they uh, have to get with you guys, they have to be slow, moderate, gentle. You know, they have to show uh, this reliability, this consistency in their behavior, because you are not just any woman that will uh, admit just any type of behavior, because you do have this very strict logical. Uh, non-compromising side for you guys so that's something amazing you know uh, I'm getting for some of you uh, some men may think that you have beautiful neck for interior design you may have uh, beautiful like statues inside of your home or uh, pieces of furniture that are just so elegant and they are either very elegant and fancy or antique, something along those lines, you know. Uh, and men may, may see you as such type of a person that besides this uh, strong bookworm type of a person, there is also an aesthetic uh, sense to you guys, where you guys uh, enjoy to indulge in uh, beautiful surroundings. So uh, I feel like there is this Venusian vibe about you guys. Uh, but despite this little bit of cold uh, exterior where they may, may think that you guys may have this little bit of bitch face or poker face or something of that nature, you know. Uh, I feel like for many of you from this part, men may feel that you may have like very beautiful, regal, aristocratic uh, teachers, you know. They may be a little bit sharper. Uh, or you may have these golden ratio measures when it comes to your face. Uh, I feel like some, there's something very uh, regular and uh, proportionate when it comes to the looks of your face. So that's something amazing. I feel like if you wear your hairs in a bun, uh, they do like it. Or when you guys elevate it, uh, because I do feel that uh, that way your uh, facial structure is em emphasized more, you know. Uh, I feel like for many of you, they especially appreciate your collarbones area, you know. I feel like they may think it's very delicate or beautifully formed, so that's something also amazing. Um, let's see what else we have. If you have a garden, this person admires your garden very much, you know, so that's something amazing. I feel like for many of you, they see you as a type of a woman that will choose your diet or it doesn't have to be a woman type of a person or energy uh, that you will choose your uh, diet very carefully you may be into intermittent fasting or 
Uh, I feel like you may have some type of a regime when it comes to your food intake and this person admires your discipline, you know. Uh, let's see what else. I feel like some of them do admire how in despite of all these powers that you guys demonstrate, uh, despite uh, being a feminine energy or uh, something of that nature, they may like that you also have this very much humble, down-to-earth side. So you are not coming from uh, an arrogant or, uh, you know, uh, how do I say, just arrogant and boastful uh, perspective, you know. I feel like this person uh, sees you as somebody who really had a lot more of accomplishments than your average person and that's the reason why you are humble because you know how people who have nothing going on for them are usually the uh, braggarts or they may be boastful uh, so uh, that's something amazing when it comes to this pile I feel like men admire very much how uh, determined you are and how um, decisive you may be I feel like uh, this is something that's standing out when it comes to your character compared to the other pe people, you know. Uh, how at the same time you can be this strong emotional mothering influence while uh, having parallel this parallel energy of uh, being this soldier, this warrior, this uh, general, you know, uh, who does as, as they please. So um, that's something also amazing. I feel like for some of you this will be really for small portion. This men may think that you may guys have some type of little bit of anger issues, but they may be attracted to that as well. So uh, if you do resonate with that part, uh, do let me know uh, because I am sensing that uh, there are some moments where you guys may act uh, in the spur of the moment, or you may be, I uh, you know. Um, doing things hastily and in a great rush so that's something also that people notice when it comes to you guys so uh, as I already said they do admire uh, I feel like they do for many of you they do admire the way your body is formed um, if you are a feminine person even if you are not typically feminine uh, I feel like they may uh, feel that you guys may have very mm, balanced proportions and features and they may enjoy uh, them very much so that's something amazing uh, yes but I believe this was our second pile if you like this reading like and subscribe and let's go on how do men do you? How do men view you? Like for many of you, people may see you, men may view you as somewhat of a restless person. You may be always on the go, always on the move. For some of you, I'm getting sleep deprivation. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting that they may be viewing you as in a process of healing something, uh, and I am sensing that related with some type of a connection, you know, uh, when it comes to you guys. And also, I'm getting from many of you from this pile I feel like new love is coming into your life and uh, I feel like it will be a grand day love uh, and you won't believe it at first it will seem too good to be true but uh, it will happen and it, it will transpire I feel like in a most uh, surprising way uh, there will be something shocking about this new connection that comes to your life but that was just the message on the side you know uh, but I do feel like uh, men may view, view you as
as non-confrontational so you may be the type to sometimes you are quick to act you are quick to behave to uh, move physically but sometimes perhaps they feel that you may be stronger when it comes to establishing your boundaries so uh, they may feel that you could be a little bit less of a people pleaser and more uh, this strict energy but I am sensing that you are becoming that uh, I feel like you are already started on that journey and you will become this strong, kingly uh, advisor type of a personality who speaks strictly from their logic, from their racial, from their uh, rational thinking. I feel like your right side, right, is it left or right? Yeah, I think it's a left side of brain. Uh, will be more predominant in, predominant in your behavior, you know, uh, and you will adopt this type of acting when it comes to you guys, so that's something amazing. Uh, I feel like for many of you, you men may view you to be the type to easily open up this, and also uh, open up about yourselves, about your past as well, and also that you may be non-restricted type of a person, you know how some people are reserved or introverted. I feel like you guys are very much expressive, uh, expressive dominant type of a person and I feel like very communicative as well. And I feel like that's this, the one quality that you also look for in your partners, you know. Uh, I feel like for many of you, you, can, you would be very much stifled if you uh, and feel very stuck if you end up with a partner who is non-expressive or uh, who is slow to uh, act, you know, think or express feelings or whatever here. So that's something amazing. Uh, for many of you, I feel like you guys have this cuteness, that this childish uh, charm when it comes to you. So. Uh, there is this strong side that you are evolving to, but there's also this childish uh, innocence and a uh, little bit of gullibility. But I feel like they uh, view this as something that's adorable and feminine in your energy. So uh, uh, our energies can be both masculine and feminine. Feminine, And I feel like masculines or men um, see this type of behavior from you guys is something very much enticing and you know uh, they feel I feel like they feel this need to little bit uh, protect you or save you or be or no how do you say uh, save your prince for the damsel in distress uh, type of a syndrome so uh, that's something amazing uh, but let's see if we have anything else for some of you they may be viewing you as as a person who is just starting on a new relationship uh, perhaps you just started a new commitment or if you haven't it will be coming into your life soon um, that's what I'm getting let's see I feel like for many of you they sense also some type of great freedom do google Aquarius sign if you don't know what they represent I feel like you have a lot of their energy uh, you know, just free-spirited, open-minded, uh, unrestricted, uh, uninhibited type of uh, behavior. And I feel like uh, this gives the dose of excitement to uh, men around you who want to pursue you or in your surroundings. So, because not a lot of women have uh, that type of progressive energy, you know, because it's, it's usually a masculine quality. Uh, and you don't have to be a woman, not, not a lot of feminine energies as well uh, have such type of... I'm getting big fluidity, flexibility, uh, adaptability as well, you know. I feel like you guys just flow. Uh, I feel like you may do something carelessly without thinking about consequences. But I feel like those are risks that more often than not pay off, you know. Uh, and men see you as somebody who... For example, may fear more the missed opportunity than the than the rejection or something of that nature. So you may be that type of a person, you know. Um, for many of you, I'm getting that men are viewing you as a scholar, somebody who has a lot of schools, 
uh, perhaps you have like two colleges or you have above average uh, good education in this lifetime and they do admire that and they also admire your eloquence uh, and there's something about the clothes that you guy wear I feel like it may be especially quality of a special high quality perhaps you may wear designer labels or um, just high quality materials you know uh, it's like when they watch you nobody would believe that you guys aren't rich uh, already if you are not so that's something also amazing uh, yes but this was our third pile I hope you like this reading if you did like and subscribe thank you for listening Thank you.